Good day and welcome to our explanation of how to get around the SMB1 problem with uh, Server 2016 and scanners. Specifically older scanners like the Ricoh 5501 that I'm using, the Officio C5501. Uh, those scanners, uh, big multifunction devices, are old enough that they don't support SMB 2.0. Server 2016 has no way to turn SMB 1.0 back on. So SMB 1.0 for Server 2016 and uh, uh, Server 2019, uh, even though you can flag them as being turned on and you can make lots of setting changes, they don't actually work. I've confirmed this with Microsoft, very frustrating. Just trust me on that, that it doesn't work. So then the question is, how do you get your uh, copier to uh, your scanner, I should say, to uh, send files to your file server. Well, it's not that hard to do. The first thing you need to do is set up an FTP server. So I've uh, downloaded FileZilla. You can download FileZilla. Now you want FileZilla server, not FileZilla client. So FileZilla server, let's just run it. It's pretty straightforward. I agree. Yep, the de defaults are all good with this. There's nothing interesting here. Uh, this is specifically saying uh, that uh, you want it to run uh, as a service, which is correct, so it just runs all the time. Uh, and no, I don't want it to pop up ever. When I uh, start, when I log in, I just want it to be like all the other programs and sit in the background and do nothing. So I've got it set to start manually. Now it'll actually, the service will run in the background, but the application will not pop up when I log in. That's what that setting's saying. So that's the only thing to change. Let's roll through that. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of the install files because they're garbage, you don't need them. Now you go to edit and users. And what you need to do is set up a new user. I'm gonna call this one scanner. And actually I'm gonna call it, well, no, uppercase. I don't think it makes any difference. Let's just do that. Password, uh, set whatever password you want. There's no complexity requirements. Uh, then you have to go to shared folders and select add and say where you want it to go. This is a new test server, so I really don't have anything set up, so I'm just going to throw it into a logs folder and uh, click OK. And I need to give it full control of that entire directory. And there's nothing else to do in here, so I click OK. And there we go, it is to go back to the firewall here. So I go back to your server and bring up the firewall, the advanced firewall settings, click inbound rules, click new rule, select program, Find FileZilla, which is in my case under C, Program Files, FileZilla Server, and select the FileZilla Server, click Next. Allow the connections everywhere, and I'm just going to call this FileZilla Server. You can call it whatever you want. Finish. There you go. And that will just poke a hole in the firewall so that it can talk. Uh, the last thing I need to do is in the path that I had chosen, which is C logs. I've got a corp folder. I now need to create a surveys folder. You don't have to do this, like I said, if you didn't bother to put a folder in, but you know, that's why I, I did. So there we go. So now I've got these two folders, so I should have two buttons. So now I need to bring up a browser and surf to the IP address that runs my, um, my uh, multifunction device, my Rico in this case. And um, uh, what I need to do is log in. There we go. Uh, the standard user can't uh, see what you need to see. You need to go into uh, the administrator, go into your address book. And even though it's not a user, you need to click add user. And you can call it whatever you want here. I'm gonna call this one surveys. It really doesn't make any difference. And uh, I'm going to name the button that you see on the scanner as surveys. By the way, yes, you can program this from the uh, console on the uh, the touch screen on the uh, Rico, but uh, it's a pain, so go this way. Then you need to scroll down and go to folder authentication, specify with the information below. In my case, I called it scanner. That's asking what the password is, and for some reason it pops up a whole separate window, so you can type in your password. Looks like you're setting a password, which is super weird because you're not. Let's click OK. No, I don't want to save that and scroll right to the bottom change from SMB to FTP uh, port 21 is probably correct uh, unless you made a change put in the IP address of the server you're, you're looking for uh, and if you have 
And if you want to type in a specific folder, uh, you can do that. So I'm going to type in surveys. Um, don't have to, uh, that's optional. And I'm going to click OK. Now at this point on the screen uh, out front, there will be a button under scanner that's labeled corp and another one that's labeled surveys. And that's it, let's go test something. And as you can see, it worked. There's my scan. So that's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.